it's 2024, which means that this is officially the year that X Defiant should launch. But joking aside, X Defiant coming early this year seems probable. And right now, if you're like me, you're looking for any more so of that release date and when you can expect to jump in for either an official launch or maybe something that ties us over like another playtest. Today, we're taking a look at this new little update that was given to us and a few things that you should consider along the way. So as we go along, drop your thoughts, drop a like, and subscribe for more X Defiant content if you'd like to stay on top of all of that. But anyways, Mark Rubin, executive producer on the project, has been the vocal spokesperson for the studio this entire time in development, sharing thoughts, updates on the project when available, and all things in between. Last night, he gave us another update on the project and the development since he last touched on this in early December, stating the following. Happy New Year, everyone. Hope everyone had a good holiday. The team is getting back into the office this week, and we are ready for a great year. We'll have some specific news in the next couple of weeks as we get ready for launch. But the quick update on our progress is, number one, we have addressed the weird issues that were affecting netcode see previous update for more that was just something that all you really need to know is that there was an issue with the netcode and we'll continue to improve and test our netcode before and after launch and number two we've implemented the new party system and are now just putting it through rigorous testing and bug fixing as we get ready for launch i also want to give a shout out to those team members who work through the holidays much of our team is working on future content but many of those that are working on getting the game ready to ship did put in some hours over the holidays and i want to recognize their dedication we try very hard to not be a crunch studio as we care about our people and their families the whole team is very dedicated to X Defiant, and we're super excited to launch this game. So big takeaways here for this is that the two big problems they faced at the beginning of December and their last sort of studio update for the development, they're past these now and they're seemingly into the home stretch, it would seem. And they're now addressing next couple of weeks into launch. So we are getting closer here to this, which is definitely nice to see some definitive nature and turnout here for that, which is awesome, I think. Now, there are some things to consider with this. Of course, there is not going to be a release as of next week week or something like that, they're still going to have to do the sort of normal stuff every developer has to go through. They have to resubmit and go through that verification process again, though it is something that this shouldn't take as long now, given they passed that at the end of last year. This was a sort of voluntary hold off in terms of fixing things where they didn't get snubbed by PlayStation or Xbox or anybody like that. They instead decided, hey, we're going to take some time, fix this on our own, and then come back and resubmit when we think everything is good to go. And while it passed the first time, it should be quick enough to pass here with this. Now, beyond that, that comes down to things like marketing, if they want to shadow drop it and just drop it out of nowhere, or if they want to have a build up and hype period to maybe regain some of that momentum here going into late January, February, maybe March. But the rumored timetable on when we can see things here, it's easy to take educated guesses, but Ubisoft actually did give us a little bit of a hint that is now kind of this very close window that's upcoming because of when it was stated and how it was worded from their most recent investor meeting and press releases back in October. They mentioned the company has decided to launch this other large game in fiscal year 2024, 2025, so as to maximize its value creation. The lineup for the remainder of the fiscal year includes on the premium side, Assassin's Creed Mirage, Assassin's Creed Nexus VR, a couple other different games here like that. But then they also mentioned that on the free to play side, Rainbow Six Mobile, The Division Resurgence, and X Defiant will also launch later this fiscal year. So for reference, that first mention of the large game, that's seemingly going to be Star Wars Outlaws, a project which honestly, I'm insanely looking forward to. Granted, it's not something that I really get to share too much here on the channel, but huge Star Wars nerd, love everything with that. And while it's not the same teams by any means, last couple of years, man, I've absolutely loved the games like the Jedi series and everything the single player brought along with that. So high hopes for what Ubisoft can make with this. So just know that at least that's not what's being pushed back to later in fiscal year 2024, 2025. But later this fiscal year, it's important to note that distinction of fiscal year versus calendar year. Calendar year is January 1st to December 31st, but fiscal year can be any defined 12-month period that a company can operate and report their earnings. I'm fairly certain that Ubisoft's fiscal year runs from April 1st to March 31st, if I'm not mistaken, meaning that we're crossing into Q4 here of their fiscal year, and that March is going to be the furthest out targeted window if all things stay the same. Pending no delays or anything like that, March 31st is that latest date that we can expect to see X Defiant launching. Now, again, I am not expecting it to be that late. I think that if they're getting things ready, it takes about a week or two for submission and verification once again here on the PlayStation and Xbox side of things. Then realistically, we could see X Defiant as early as like mid-February, maybe, assuming that there's going to be some sort of marketing push here with that. But honestly, if they do have to wait towards later in that window, my personal hopes would be some sort of second playtest dropped out of nowhere to test these final pieces. 
pieces. Honestly, I'd love to see that even if that's not the case. Even if it's just a small window like the last one, the last play test we had was back in September 26th. That was one with dropped worldwide, no invite needed or anything like that, but you had roughly six hours of play time to test out their new functionality. For something of this kind of nature, when it's more back-end changes and adjustments, you don't necessarily need a whole weekend or a whole week or two weeks or something of play testing. All you've really got to do is just get that sample size to test those new things that you're working on of that new party system, that new netcode. I think it would make a ton of sense to drop another play test here like this. Again, maybe even in such a limited run like that. And that also saves you on any sort of marketing budget or anything like that. You don't need to put out any promos saying, hey, you can play the game for the next couple of days going forward. You can just simply do what you did last time. You have a tweet followed by then the download and of course playing for a couple of hours at that point. And to me, that's where you get like the vast number of players who follow avidly on board, but you don't have to, again, take out a marketing budget or anything to promo to the large masses of everybody like you would for pushing the game to actually launch. I mean, at that point, you want everybody playing the game, but for a play test like that, all you'd really need is just get a number of players that would give you a large enough sample size and enough data to make any adjustments needed going forward. I mean, you want a lot of players, sure, because you want as much data as as possible, but also you don't really want to end up having millions and millions of players playing this one singular play test because if something goes wrong, which is the point of a play test to see if something would or would not go wrong, then it leaves a kind of bad first impression right before launch. So you see what I mean where it's like, I think kind of advantageous to just simply shadow drop a play test versus then the actual launch of the game. I don't know, that's just me, the way that I see it. I would love to see any sort of play test here, regardless whether it is something that launches later at the end of like March in this final Q4 of the fiscal year, or if it's something that is just like, hey, the game's coming out, but if you want a little sneak peek of it, here's a play test for you to jump in for X amount of time, a couple hours a day or a day or two. I'd love for that kind of thing to happen, but maybe that's a little bit too wishful thinking. But anyways, that was the little update here that X Defiant has given us and a little bit more. The wheels are starting to turn a little quicker and we're starting to get a little closer to that official launch. So that said, just wanted to fill you guys in here and keep you in the loop with everything because I'm excited for X Defiant. I know a lot of you guys have expressed your interest, your excitement in the game as well. So just wanted to keep you in the loop with everything in case you missed it. But for now, that's going to wrap it up. Let me know your thoughts down below. Are you looking forward to X Defy? When do you think it will launch? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts down below. But if you enjoyed the video, you found it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on it and consider subscribing to stay the video with all things X Defy, Modern Warfare 3, and Warzone, and other FPS content here on the channel. I'd love to have you in the community, but for now, thanks so much for watching. Modest Man Espresso. I'll see you later. Take care and peace.